Okay, so we hiked up an old mining road to the Hunter V mine. The road just comes up right there. The first thing we came to was a little open cut. It's a little bit of remnants of piping and ore cart tracks and a cable down in the middle of it. And then just off to the left here, you can see the cable and piping on the ground. Little piece of ore cart track right in front here. And then just off to the left is the uh, big open pit. You can see the guys are down in there. And apparently down in the open pit, there is, um, there's an adit. So we are gonna wander down there and check out the adit, see what it looks like. The bottom of the pit's flooded, so there won't be any getting in there. But we'll go down and check out the bottom and there's an adit to the left, we'll go see what it looks like. Okay, we're down in the pit now. You can see the ore cart tracks that used to come out of the pit coming down the hill. The little adit is just around the corner here to the left. We're down at the, uh, the main pit now. You can see it's completely flooded, no going in. So okay, we'll uh, walk in and check out the adit. Yeah. Okay, so I'm inside this little adit now and it just goes down around the corner here. And apparently it's full of all kind of flies and everything. And, oh yeah, dead ends right there. You can see. It's the end of it there. You can actually see the daylight where the cave-in happened. So it maybe used to go across, but it doesn't anymore. And it's full of flies and stuff. Here, looking back at the entrance. From down in the attic. And uh, you can see the, the drill holes where they were going to blast. Still on the wall. Looks like they dug out a little bit here, and yeah. So we'll head back out and see what else we can find at uh, at the Hunter V. So we just came back up from the pit. There was just that one little added at the bottom of the pit. There's the pit, and if you look over here, you can see uh, they did a bunch of gobbing. Neatly stacked rock, waste rock from the mine. Almost looks like they dug that trench or were using it for drainage maybe. Maybe they pumped the water up from, from the glory hole and it went down there. Could be, I don't know, lots of hoses and stuff lying around here. So we're gonna walk around. Apparently there's a shaft and a uh, open pit on the other side. So we're gonna walk around and uh, see what that looks like. Okay, so we hiked up to the top of the hill. There's a little dugout area here. thought it was a shaft, but it's not. It's just a little dugout area. But apparently just over on the other side here. Very white material. Either solid quartz or got some limestone in it or something. Apparently there's a shaft right here filled with water. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the collar and everything still, still intact. No going down that. Looking around, you can see the waste rock from the shaft. And the uh, open pit was basically just over here. So this probably connected to that at some point. So. We're going to hike a little further up the road here and see what else there is up at the top of the hill. Hopefully there's something else to show. Let's go check it out. Well, yeah, so we hiked up that road there, but there's nothing up there. And uh, give one last shot of the glory hole here. And on the top, you can see down in the middle of the screen is the edit that we were in. And there's the ore cart tracks going up. We walked over there too. It's just a little dugout area. So I think we're going to call it and uh, move on to the next one. So that's it from the Hunter V mine. On our way out from the Hunter V, we noticed these uh, ore buckets. Looks like they were on either for the vertical shaft or coming out of the glory hole. They were uh, not ore carts, they were buckets. You could see they were where they were suspended. 
just on the road. The road's right here beside us. So we're, uh, yeah, thanks, Stu. No worries. I'll have to find a software to edit you out somehow. Anyway, that's it from the Hunter V.